See, today, I'm coming with that, ooh-wee, let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today, I hope to help you get closer to the truth, closer to the kingdom, and closer to the will of God. Hallelujah, amen. We gotta give him all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, because he is truly deserving of it. Man, we're back with another episode of the Relationship Series as I kick off my singles ministry. When I tell you I'm coming with a great topic today, I know I'm gonna hit home and I'm gonna pierce the souls of a lot of people. See, one thing, that people make the mistake of. And this is this is including me as well because I am guilty of it. See, we make the mistake of dating having trust issues that have gone unresolved. And this is not healthy. And when you look at it, if you don't take time off, if you don't find healing to resolve your trust issues with the one who heals, and you enter into a new relationship, I want to make sure you understand that you make it extremely difficult when you have trust issues for somebody else to learn to love you. See, a lot of our trust issues are rooted in sin. They're rooted in things because we go against the will of God. See, we have things in our life that we need to be forgiven for that we have done, and we ask God for forgiveness but yet we don't give forgiveness in order to experience the healing process. And some of the trust issues that you have when it comes to dating in previous relationships, the first way that you are going to get, you know, healing from this is to go down in prayer to the one who cares, who has cared from day one, the one that has loved you from day one, and to repent for the things that you need to be forgiven about. Once you do this, this is when the Holy Spirit can stop moving in you. But see, you got to be truthful and honest with your communications with the Most High. If you go to him not exposing the whole truth, you're not going to see any difference. And I'll tell you, I made this mistake at the beginning of my marriage and during the process of dating, you know, my wife, because I had trust issues that went unresolved and it makes it extremely difficult. It made it extremely difficult for me to be vulnerable in a way that we could grow our love together and for us to be focused on God. Most of us as men and women, we don't even realize how fast we rebound and it's not healthy. When you have issues that are an open wound that are fresh as ever and you don't even acknowledge that you need healing, it's gonna be problematic in your relationship because you don't even give the person that you are entertaining the person that you're supposed to be growing with the opportunity because you make them earn trust from the very beginning instead of having a certain level of trust, you know, that anybody that doesn't have a tarnished heart or a tarnished spirit is going to have. And when you think about this, you make them climb up a mountain just for one drop of trust. But when they do anything Contrary to being human and not being perfect, you're willing to take a whole bucket of trust and say, you've lost my trust. This is how entering into a relationship with trust issues is unhealthy. And there are going to be a lot of people that steer clear of you when they see how difficult you make it to earn trust. And this is something that I am guilty of. So this is how I'm qualified to give you this. If you have had relationships that you have things that are unresolved, unresolved pain, suffering, trauma, you need healing from, I recommend you go down in prayer so you can have the strength to forgive, to let go, to try your best not to remember because it is gonna affect you and it's like carrying baggage that's not gonna produce any righteousness going forward as we take this journey to get you to the base of the tower so you can start a prosperous marriage as a man or a woman. Like I said, plenty of people are gonna walk away from you or opt not to deal with you because you're not doing anything about your trust issues 
you're not trying to get healing and they're looking at it like, why would I be willing to go on this journey? And at the end of it, I've gone a hundred miles only to get a drop of trust. And if I make a simple mistake along the way, you're gonna take five gallons worth of trust away from me. And this is not right. You're at a place where you're not ready to date. You know, the best thing for you, like I said, from the very beginning of this journey is you possibly need to take a season off. You possibly need to focus on healing yourself. You possibly need to learn what you are supposed to be doing as far as the expectations of God, the will that he has set forth for our life. You know, finding out how you can use your gifts and your talents that are pleasing to him in a manner that is pleasing to him. So on this relationship series, man, I told you, this is gonna be something that I guarantee you, your average dating coach ain't gonna tell you. See, there's a lot of dating coaches out there that's giving you their so-called wisdom, but it comes from a place of being worldly. See, all of this wisdom that I give you, this game that I kick you, I gotta, I, I gotta shout out the one who created it, and it comes from the father the people that walked with him. You see what I'm saying? These people, when you look at it in the Bible, the people that walked with him laid out his will in order to move forward in this journey. I gotta pump the brakes on this and hit you from all different angles to make sure you're not just gliding along, checking the block, and you have issues that we definitely need to work on. And if you need help in this area, getting over trust issues, you've been heartbroken. I know what that feels like, I'm telling you. Maybe we need to slow down and completely stop, take a season off before we try to push through because you could be blocking your own blessing of marriage in the end. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting a gun barrel straight. Bow.